All right, mama had ass. Oh, that is Bobby looking big like that. Hey, Jill, what's going on? Oh, this is not even a blunt in here. This is just scraps. No, it's a blunt in here, I thought so. How's everybody doing this wonderful Sunday? I am doing absolutely motherfucking amazing. I'm going to record Miss America. Just so I can get my ju I think it's on right now, as a matter of fact. I had to... Let me tell y'all about my day. It was good. But when we have brunch... And you have straight people at the at the damn table, men. And they, let me say, fuck. It was a table at brunch today. It was some guys and some girls. I don't know how big the party was, but they was quite shady towards the judge, right? And I don't mind that. You know what I mean? I'm not everybody's tea. But when you on your phone, like you don't give a fuck. And you talking to people while I'm performing. You can't come in the back and ask me for an autograph. Old boy came back there. He said, hi, Jasmine, after my first number. I did think, you know, dance, go hop around, came back out. And I did uh, Cardi B. And I did that because I knew that song was going to touch me where I needed to deliver that to someone. And it did. And I meant it. And then he asked me for an autograph. And y'all know I'm cool as fuck. I give baby, we could do an autograph, a video, whatever you need to do to make you happy. Let's go on and do it. Well, it didn't go out that way. And he asked me for an autograph and I said, weren't you at the table with the shady people by the stairs? He said, yeah. I mean, the steps by the, by the stage. He said, yes, no, baby. Politely, you and your table were shady. So, <laughs> no, you can't have an autograph. No shade. But it's true, don't be shady with me and ask me for something. I'm not fake like that. I'm cool as fuck. I tell people I'm so fucking cool because I don't give a fuck what's going on. I'm happy. So I'm cool. I know I'm cool as fuck because I'm happy with my fucking self. So he didn't get autographed. So oh well, it ain't my fault. Next time you bring people who know how to treat people right. And if they straight, don't bring them to the gay club to see a drag show. And then don't do this with a dollar over their head. If they are straight, don't do that. Because I'm not, I'm not one of them dollar hoes. Now I gotta hoe around for a dollar and bounce on people and ride them and all that. I don't do all that stuff. Every blue moon I may be cool, that's because I already got a vibe with this person. But doing all that extra shit, climbing on them and, and sitting on them and pouncing on them to get a holler and a dollar. No, ma'am, I don't need to do all that. I've never been that type of entertainer. I may play a little bit, but all that extra shit, that's not me. So I'm be waving on dollar. Over no straight man head when he already feeling uncomfortable. Because if he step out one of us wrong, it's going to be a problem. And it's going to be your fault, girlfriend, because you done brought your straight boyfriend to the club. And you better watch him. Because when they start acting like they don't want to be around us, because they don't want us to pick up that gay vibe. I got a lot of men in my family. And they could be around any fucking body. They not tripping if it's a transsexual, trans man, a drag queen, a lesbian, a gay. They don't give a fuck what you are. They know they want pussy and pussy only. Ain't nothing going to change their motherfucking minds. So they are cool with everybody because they have been around every type of sex there is dealing with me. And they have always treated everybody cool as fuck. So I know. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm a watch. I'm a recorded up. Hey, Jill. Girl, Instagram live, Jill. I have to shade this boy towards the Jill. 
So at the end of the show, can I get an autograph? I'm out. And I'm only saying it because the bitch could go on something and try to say I was rude or disrespectful. But my niece is back there doing the whole thing and I was not rude or disrespectful. I was very polite and very right. No, you could not have an autograph. You and your table was shady. And I don't care that it tip you a dollar. Because they tried to after the fact. But baby, the fact is over. Joe, why is it so dark over there, Jim? You still in Houston, Jim? <laughs> yes, baby. I don't have... Baby, me invited the friends on the show. That was four years ago. Let that go. You just seen us on tour together. Get your young ass off of here asking me if I'm so cool with somebody. Baby, that was four years ago. Don't nobody hold no grudge like that. We just work together. I can cuss her out and still love her the same way. It ain't nothing. That's what you do with your sisters and friends. My judge tell me every day, give her five minutes. And low key, she cussing me out. <laughs> I miss my judge. I miss my judge. Judge, I did a video today about brushing your teeth. Yeah. Because you're going in and out, so I'm not sure if you're replying to me or you're talking to me. Oh. Give it to me now. Oh, uh, some Shady Queen. Oh, this Shady Queen. I just had to, I wanted to put it out there before he tried to write something bad about me because you know you write one thing bad about a person girl go all over the world so before anybody could dish tea on me i dish it myself okay go on youtube type in the meaning of jish listen to it i'm gonna make a coin off of it and then you're gonna have your jish but then you have to pass it so everybody around you will get their jish. And then I'm going to post up the link so you can buy you some jish merchandise. Go on Instagram. We have an account jish. Look it up and order some merchandise. We got t-shirts. We got hats. We got handbags. You name it, we got it. Everybody need that jish. 2018 coming around. Don't be slow and stupid. And just is in the Urban Dictionary, honey, if you really want to know. Just when you leave Houston Tuesday? Mm -hmm. You working tonight, tomorrow? Girl, I went and got the box of 30. Why they still a Dwala? Hey, Bianch. Okay. Ah. Oh. I think I may go to Olive Garden and get something to eat you. As usual. Yeah. I went there last night, Jill, on the way home from my private party. I had to do Diana Ross. Yeah, say just every day. You need a t-shirt. Tank top. All colors be coming through. Oh, thinking of that, I'm going downtown tomorrow to pick up some more shirts. Um, and someone said they know where to get the fans at, where we can get it printed on the fans. But we have to order a hundred, and they three dollars a piece. I'm like, oh, bitch, that ain't nothing. We need that. Baby, no matter what day, what, what day of the season it is of the year, every bitch need a fan somewhere. In church, at home, in the club. Hot flashing, you need a fan? You might well fan your jush. Fanning my jush. Oh. 
I need a t-shirt, but I live in Scotland. Oh, baby, I'll be in Scotland. So if you need an order, I'm gonna be there. I can use your you. I can use your your post office, or if you meet me at the club, they're gonna be there to sell. But I have your jail. Trust me. So if you need your jail. I'm telling you. Uh, as a matter of fact. Hmm. Good. Oh. If it don't have this print, this type of formula, this font, that is not real. That's a font, baby, that we dug up and found. You probably could find it, but trust me, it ain't that one. So I have those in black and white. Tees are in white. Tank, uh, tank, wait. Tank tops are in white. Tees are in black. But tomorrow... I'm going to go stock up, and I'm going to get um, different colors so y'all can get your juice in different colors. I don't think I'm going to do any tank tops right now because it's getting cold, but I'm going to do like t-shirts, long sleeves, hoodies, hats, and all that stuff. Draws. Everybody needs some juice on their ass. Baby, we're going to do all type of hair. My sister, uh, my jib, my partner, she was just saying about uh, she want to do like hoodies and stuff too. Because it's getting cold, jib. Everybody might as well get their fucking jib. We'll stay you in because the sun is still out and there's dark everywhere. I'm in California. And it's about to get dark. It'll be dark in about three minutes. Jill, I'm going to send you a, a package tomorrow, too. And I need you to make a dress out of the package, Jill. Okay, Jill. You want a hoodie so bad that say, Jill? Okay. Do I ship worldwide? The United States? Hell yeah. If it's overseas, you got to wait till I get there or you have to pay that extra fee for your shipping. You know different than anybody else, Jim. You just live out of the motherfucking United States. I mean, you got to pay for that part. If I pay for that part, I'm not making no coin. And I need all my thoughts. I have a part now. You on your way home to your mama, Jim? I'm going to stop by this. Ain't nothing going on Sunday night? No. You're not going to the show tonight? Isn't there a show at Hamburger Mary's? Uh-uh, I said by your Oh. You know Hamburger Mary's finna have a pageant. I miss Hamburger Mary's. Did you hear about that? No. Did you hear about the Hamburger Mary's pageant? Girl, yeah, they have, they're supposed to be having a pageant in, at, I think, in February. They're supposed to have the big one where the, all the girls go compete to be Hamburger Mary's, to be Miss Mary's. They're supposed to be coming to Florida for the national pageant. They're supposed to be going to Florida for the national pageant. They're supposed to be like prelims at all the uh, at all the Marys, and then all the girls who win, they all they all go compete. I think in February or something next year to be Miss Hamburger Marys. I said that's a cute little book and a little tool, little yearly dude, little fee. Sasha Kobe doing it. She doing the Wednesday. Which I don't know why she. Uh, Hamburger 
Mary's Yeah. Which I don't know why she's doing it Wednesday because she still had to turn right back around and do another one. When on Monday, they have it, whoever win that, bitch, you just going to the Nationals. But if she win this one, she still have to do another night, a whole nother pageant. Like to win, I don't, I don't know. I said, if I do it, just give me that one night. Bitch, if I win to make it, I win to make it. If not, tough titty. Shit. No, I don't have just bumper st stickers. Somebody else had asked me about that. Just you want to get bunker, bumper stickers, Jit? Did you ever think about uh, bumper stickers, Jit? Jit. Jit. I'm talking to you, Jish. Oh, she looking for something. I said, hey, you ever thought about making us, uh, some bumper stickers? Have I thought about getting a bumper sticker? That say Jush. No. Somebody else has said that, and I didn't, I was like, oh, that'd be cute, but then, um, someone on here just asked me about bump, bu uh, bumper sticker that say Jush. I guess I have to look at it. Look into it, see what's going on. Yeah, me and Stacy is on tour together. I could have swore that was three dates. And I'm going to double check my shit. Because for some reason, this fourth date on this tour, it seemed like that got added on. <coughs> so I got to go back and, and ask some questions about that. Because... No, this is my sister, Chevelle Brooks. She's my partner with Jid. She's locking the damn door. She's locking the door? At 6 o'clock. It should be 7. Sunday. Oh, yeah. Damn. Oh, yeah, because y'all two hours ahead. Yep, it's two minutes till you. You should knock on that door and say, bitch, I know what I want. I'm going to smoke one with you, Jill. Please smoke with me, Jill. Uh, uh, let, me, let me call you back. Okay, Jill. No, that was my sister, Chevelle Brooks. Please look her up on Facebook. Follow her on Instagram, the plus size diva. Kennedy got, but most of her moves from her. She shuts it down. And we are the best of the best to sit down together and keep the fuck key. Dennis, I blocked you before. I know I did. I know I did. I know I did. If I didn't block you before, I told you to calm your fucking nerves. I know for a fact I could have told you that. If I did not block you and you calmed your nerves with these fucking questions, okay? Oh my gosh! There you go again, wearing it out, honey. You already know I'm on here twenty-four-seven. Well, I'm telling you now, calm down before I block you. And I know I told somebody that before. And I know I told you you need to calm down because you asked me how you, you, you going in. Anytime I can see five posts from one person and out of two, and what? no, man, that's a lot. You going in. And you don't have to go in like that. I'm going to answer as much as I can. Yeah, I'm, I'm taping it now. And right now, they're just showing, like, the red carpet shit or the party before. Nobody got time for that. But then again, 
Well, there's so much coming on today anyway, so I don't want to block them. I hate block. I hate blocking people. I really do. I do not like blocking people. But sometimes, God damn. I'm like, baby, you got to find some peace in yourself. I'm here. All the damn time. Bring back the study. Okay? Well, baby, we can't bring back the study. Mother Rose dead and gone. But I do miss the study. But you know what? Remember when she made that song, You Dirty Bitch? You Dirty Bitch. Bitch, I got that song. I got that song. And I keep saying I'm going to bust it out on these kids one day. And fuck them up. And I may do it because it's a cute little number to do at the club. And, you know, the kids can keep keys about good two minutes or something. Throw that on when I just want to get on and off. And just put on something and just go out there and get my gym. All right. This Seven girl going in. And she's singing live too. You can't knock a bitch. Baby Mother Rose was everything. Have you talked to Desiree? No, I have not talked to what Desiree. I know a few. You talking about my TT in uh, Vegas? No, I haven't. Well, morning. Are you in Israel? Uh oh. Well, good morning, Jeff. Every question I've asked, Jeff has been answered. There's no reason to spam. Okay, thank you, boo. I honestly think you have me mistaken for someone else. I adore you, my queen. Okay, baby, we cool. But it just seemed like every time I popped up, Dennis, it just seemed like you was just brrr. And you know, it was wearing my, you know, wearing my nerves out. So we cool, Jeff. We cool. That's why I didn't block you. And I remember your name. I remember we talk all the time. We do. Every time I'm on here, you on here getting your judge. But it just seemed like you were just cutting up at one moment, Jeff. <laughs> like, goddamn. This is not a report, Jeff. But you cool. You be on here all the time. But you know. You are going to pop the corn so the kids can eat. Baby, I talked about that story with my cousins them um, Saturday. <laughs> we were just talking about old times and shit, and I brought that up. Baby, uh, uh, nothing was like old girl feet. And I said, what? Is that on your feet? What happened? And she was like, oh, this is from me wearing, like, my heels and stuff and my shoes be too tight. Bitch, wait a minute. And those are called what? Corns. We have a pork chops, corn, stream beans, and some biscuits. Mama, I don't want no corn. Mm-mm, no ma'am. I don't want no corn. Baby, she try to get me to eat that corn. I am not eating corn. It's not the same. They have the same. No, I just, I let, nope. Baby, she didn't put corn. I haven't eaten corn since I, until I was like maybe 13. And I was at least about five and six then. Oh, no, 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 ma'am. I don't want no corn. Mm -mm. And I love the fact that my mom listened to me and my brother. When we, she knew we didn't want to eat nothing, baby, she didn't buy it. She was not wasting her money on shit that we was not going to buy, that we was not going to eat. Now, you know, the string, the string beans and shit like that. You had to eat those, but I thought those was cute anyway. So it was nothing to me. But when you do it, when, you know, she knew the stuff we didn't like to eat. So she didn't buy it. But, uh-uh. 
Mm -mm. And she knew it. I was not going to eat that corn, and she put that on my plate. And I would have got a whooping or whatever. But I was not eating that corn, not after that. Oh, no. And she knew already I was funny acting with food anyway. So, baby, no, ma'am. Mm-mm. Not thine stomach. But, yeah, so... That's why I ain't fuck with no damn thing. I was just about to call you while I'm on here, Jill. I'm watching you on two phones. Two phones for what, Jill? Miss Universe started. Okay, go watch it, Jill. I like to fast forward through things. I asked my man to bring. It's some. It's a who? I don't know vanilla, baby. You don't know vanilla? Wait. No, vanilla's not in Vegas. She down the street from me. There's a red in Vegas, and vanilla's down the street from me. I just talked to her the other day. They cool. Well... You know, they cool from what I see. I haven't really, don't forget, Real Housewives of Atlanta come on tonight. I ain't forgot about that. I do want Miss King to read the shit out of <laughs> Pick the Fat Miss King. <laughs> oh, God. That's what I said. There's so much going on tonight, so I'm going to be bouncing through everything. But I like to record everything and fast forward. Yeah, Jizz. Okay, hey, Jizz. It's getting dark, Jizz. You get that, Jizz? I told you, Jizz. In a matter of seconds, Jizz. Then I just move my curtain some, then you can see me a little bit better. Oh, I know, Indy. I got you, Jizz. That part. Everybody getting off that part. It's only 407 in LA. That looks dry. Who made that? Girl, I won't be eating your, cook, your cooking at all. My friend asked me, did I want to come over and eat? That was going over his auntie house. And, you know, she can't cook. But I was like, nah, I'm cool. Mm-mm. I'm not doing nobody stuff that I, you know, for sure, for sure, for sure, no. And I mean, I done been over there. I done did all that. But I can't eat other people cooking, not right now. Seeing that uh, macaroni salad or whatever the fuck was in that sink, baby, that had fucked something up in me until I'm cool. On eat. I'm really cool on eating fast food at this point. I'm just like, fuck that. That made me want to cook a lot more fucking more, and I think I'm going to have to pull that off. Oh, I'm thinking about you will watch this girl with the Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Let me turn it there, Jeff. Oh, the housewives is on. What are they doing on that 4 o'clock? Oh, that's the social edition shit. I don't want to see that. Well, I'm going to have to fast forward through it, Jeff. That American money took you. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> that macaroni took me out like the corn on that woman's foot, but the corns on her foot took me out. Took me out. Fuck that. Me and I was telling my cousins them about two brushes in the bathroom. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to make a video about that. Because... I don't leave my toothbrush in my in no fucking bathroom. Not the hotel room. Not nobody room. My toothbrush do not belong in the bathroom. Other when I am brushing my teeth, and I hate that. I'll try to walk out the damn bathroom. I don't want to be sitting there opening all my fucking mouth. Scraping and scrubbing and shit. 
and floss it and a bitch just shit it. No ma'am. I knew somebody who wanted to be the first one up and the first thing this bitch want to do is go to the bathroom and shit. Put <laughs> putting all them damn fumes all in my motherfucking mouth. Girl, you gotta stop that. Better get it's time for you to go home. I know you in my company, but bitch, I'm sending you H O M E. When you pay your uh, rent, because over here you ain't paying. And you shitting first thing in the morning, and everybody getting their fumes from your ass in their mouth. We had a friend make meatloaf for us, and I ate it. And <laughs> it's in the bathroom for over <laughs> Girl, I'm not laughing that you got sick, girl. I'm not laughing that you got sick. Meatloaf. You can't eat everybody meatloaf. Because people do it with their hands. You got to put on some little gloves, baby. And then you mess with the, the utensils, the meat and stuff. You can't do that with your hands and you got shit underneath your nails and you got rings on. No, don't wash your hands and just do the meat. Wash your hands, put on the gloves. And then go in there and do some surgery on that meat to make us some meatloaf. Why would you want all that shit on your hands anyway? That don't feel good. It's slippery, it's sticky, and all that shit. Now, man, get that off my fingers. But I'm sorry you got sick. I had a hamburger from this weird lady. And I got sick for three days. No, ma'am. See, y'all better quit eating people shit. I'm telling y'all, fuck that. I know I miss Phaedra. Yeah, Jasmine, what? <clears throat> and just for this question, what are you going to do? Uh, baby, am I even in town for Christmas? Let me tell you right now, because that's a good-ass question. Uh, that's on Monday. I go to Chicago on... That Thursday, nothing right here because I see my family on Sunday, drop off the gifts, and then have my black ass in my own villa. She probably have me a drink. I was so fucked up after that one. No, no, I don't even. I have the taste for mac, baby. No, no. I, I, unless I prepare it, girl. You should read your comment and answer us. But baby, I'm trying, Jill. I'm sorry. Let me go back up some more. I thought I was caught up. I was thinking about the universe with us. Okay, did I get that far? Or what did you ask me? Let me see. Cause I always try to answer everybody. Can your husband kill? He is a nice looking man. Just what can I do when I get paranoid? <clears throat> Lay your ass down and go to bed. Shit. <laughs> if you get paranoid, take your ass a shower. Lay your ass down and go to sleep. Simple. Ain't nothing you can do when you're paranoid. Go to bed. Okay, okay, you don't want to catch the worms from eating other people's shit. Hell no. When you get paranoid, distracted. No, just go to bed. Okay, that macaroni took me out. Okay, we had a pen and hamburger. Bring back Phaedra just, just, just for Christmas. I was fucked up. Okay, no more macaroni. Girl, you should read the comments and answer us. But girl, what did you ask me? Because I went up far. Now I got to catch up. Now I got to miss all those. Because that's a lot. Taco Bell, Jill. Mm -mm. You know, I, I have a friend that works there. The chicken is cute. No, I'm recording Miss Universe. And it's not even on yet over here. It should be. Let me try Channel 11. Nope, they showing TMZ. It's not on yet over here. So 
So I, I have to be patient. So if I have to be patient, guess what, Jim? So do you. Okay. We love you, in cap. Oh, I love you guys, too. I talked to a couple of people from um, from there before. I never <coughs> gave us a home, homemade cheese ball. We threw them away. Thank you. Right in the trash. Baby, you don't, I feel bad for, you don't know how many times I had, people had told me to take some food home, and I went to the gas station, and I didn't even give it to the homeless. I put that shit right in the trash. Sometimes the freeway ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, sometimes I had to feed the freeway. Do you hear me? You hungry? Eat up, Jish. I'm sorry, but God damn it. I can't fuck with people's food. And my mama always told me that, too. You can't be doing people's shit. Homemade cheese balls. No, thank you. <laughs> I want to know why you what? Sing you. My question just oh thank you just right back at you you are my favorite queen because you ain't fake I know that we can trust you Jim. oh yeah Jim. Jim I'm only eating your macaroni for that <laughs> that part are you coming to stay? I wish I was babe they ain't sent for me yet but if they do I would am I gay I'm happy I would say that. I have dated women, I have dated men. Whatever my heart fall for, that's what I'm doing. And I love that. I think that's a blessing. Because there's a lot of gay men that would not touch a woman. Now, I would. Yes, ma'am. But no problem. Shit. And that's how I know if you just open your fucking heart. You will be amazed. You never know. You just never fucking know. Quit having that block there. Well, I don't want to date this race. I can't date that race. Mm-mm. Quit blocking your blessing, boo. Because you could be throwing your blessing right out the door. So I like what I like. Just All Stars 4, okay? Just Miss Universe is live with us. Okay, well, baby, it's not on here. I'll be just saying that. How would you feel if the girl in Jack said just on the show and got credit for it? Baby, it wouldn't matter to me. Because I'm already in the Urban Dictionary for Jish. So, it, no matter what they said, I got credit for it, it would never work out. Because maybe I own the word Jish. That's why I sell merchandise. There's videos of me already saying Jish. That part. And, I'm in the damn Urban Dictionary for Jish. It's Tammy Brown. I ain't never had Tammy cooking. Baby, I, I'm not into <laughs> I would be in the kitchen watching everything Tammy put together because I need to see what she doing for sure. But no, I I don't know if Tammy is a good cook. I don't even know if Tammy know how to cook. Yes, on Fox, baby, on Fox over here is Channel 11. And we have TMZ. So it's not over here yet for me, boo boo. Y'all a little ahead of me, Jill. Okay, I love with her too. I need to get back out there. I ate somewhere out there before. It was years ago though. It's two fifteen AM. Oh shit, Jill. What you doing that? They bought her ticket in with her bare hands and then little girls be out. Uh huh, which they be deboning it and doing all that. I mean, I mean, can you hear it? Clink, clink. I'm like, bitch, you didn't want to just bake the bitch? 
And then pull it out? You want to twist it and shit? Nah, I'm cool. Child, you did it. Oh, yeah, I did it. Baby, let me tell you how I started dating men. I started dating men because I was messing with this girl. And I say messy because we wasn't a couple. Messing with a girl and she ended up getting an abortion. And I know that I let my kids loose all up in her. So it could have been mine and it could have been somebody else's because, you know, she was a little freelance. So... When we was in class and the girl, we was like, where's she at? And the girl was like, well, you know she had an abortion. We were like, wait, what? And I knew, they didn't know we was messing around, but I knew. And I was like, what? And it messed with my head to know that somebody, that a woman can have that much power over me and my child. Because if she was, you know, pregnant, baby, we're going to take care of this. But then after that, I was like, I was cool. But I always had attraction for men and women. Then me and my cousin started going to Hillcrest, which is the gay area in San Diego. And I started dating men. Still got a little pussy on the side, you know. But I was <laughs> dating men. No shade. It was just what it was. All the time, just, I'm just I don't know. You scared of coochie? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> you ain't scared of doo-doo juice, so you might as well go get some pussy juice. Shit. And that, that kikis me because I've been thinking. Like... I don't know. Like, I don't... I, see, this is where I get confused because I don't be understanding. Because me, I'm like, okay, you you will run to some asshole, but you won't even think about a woman. But then that's why I say, okay, you just you just really fully, you know, just gay. Even if you could be a, a gay man that just a top, but they would not fuck a woman. And that's the part that I be like, what? I know there's a lot of women out there that good dick going away. That's your next shirt. Quit blocking your blessings. Okay? <clears throat> it's just crazy. I don't know. <coughs> I tried to spray my... <coughs> spray my hair. <coughs> right just today, the white man, I just can't get my jail. You know what? You just have to find the right one. <laughs> For real. You probably find the ones who just, I don't know if they're cool. I don't know. But, you know, some people just say some things are not for them, and that's 1,000% fine. Some things are not for me, and I'm just like, it ain't for me, you know? But when you least suspect it, and it may come around, you have to take a chance when someone, like, if they're asking you to go out, you always drive yourself there and, and you know, get you a drink at the bar before they get there. So you can just make sure your shit is cute. But you know, everything ain't for everybody. But sometimes you may have a certain type you like and a guy that's heavy set or a guy that may be bony or in between. And you like, mm -mm, you may a little pot belly. And you just, that's not my judge. That may be the person that, well, treat you like fucking royalty. And sometimes them bummy looking motherfuckers that look like they may be having a social security check, them be the ones that have all the fucking money. I can't tell you how many times I probably let up one, one of them men walk away like that. And I had to get my judge one day. I was in Beverly Hills. Not too much right there in the Redondo rodeo area. And I'm looking at these men like, why they dress like this? And i never forget, my auntie Khadija, bless her soul, she said, baby, they don't spend their money on clothes. They have that when they step out. When they're in the street, they don't care how they look. They want to look bummy. They don't want to look like they have money. That made a lot of sense to me. They're not famous. They just people who have a lot of shit, load of money. Why do I need to walk around the street like I have money? 
and they go to these big ass houses and all this, and I done turned this man away. Ain't that a bit? Not say I should have had it, you know. But, and I know a couple of men that liked me or wanted to talk to me years ago. I'm like, no, nah, I'm cool. Found out this motherfucker stacked up. What the fuck? Dumbass. But that's part of my life, Jim. Not with the elephant man, no ma'am. Either Tammy Brown Muffin, baby. Uh-uh. You know, I never ate Chipotle for I ate it one time, and y'all will see that soon. But I had never eaten Chipotle. Mm-mm. I was scared shitless. Okay, wait a minute. Let me see how many blunts today so far. This is my fourth blunt today. I'm lying. This is my sixth blunt today. I had two this morning. Put them in the air. I don't want the booty either. Oh, but baby, good. They don't do nothing. Just use your hand. Hey, just a little glad I caught you. Hey, baby. How you doing? I need to put something on these zoo coolers. <clears throat> I think that's your hamburger marriage in Long Beach on Wednesday. Wish I could have said hi. But where the hell were you at? My first boyfriend was white. That's all I had to pick for her. Aww. Dennis, okay, that's for Dennis. Yes, ma'am, okay. No, no, thank you, mama. Okay, that's right. Oh, we all going in truth, okay? Facts, okay, lessons, okay? Money doesn't matter that much. Oh, baby, trust me, I know money don't matter. I never go with nobody because of money. I'm just saying, if I would have just been open to just dating them, because I wasn't at the time, and that was the problem. I wasn't dating them. I mean, I wasn't into dating them because the way they were dressed, or just the way they wasn't my judge, but they was always cool and nice to me, but I never gave them a chance because that wasn't what I liked. But even like, you know, it's just part of life. You just have to just Live it and be open with it. You never know what love gonna come in. You looking for this type bitch, that, that's the one gonna rob you, fuck you, your friends, your mama. Run up your credit, take your car, don't put gas in it. And you got this Urko person over here that's gonna whine and die here treat you like you wanna be treated. But baby, I don't need, let me tell you something about going with somebody because they have money. The key word is they. They have money. If you don't have no money going into the relationship, bitch, you still don't have no money. Your money is yours. Their money is theirs. And that's it. Bottom line, cut and dry. So you could go with motherfucking... Whoever. Who got coins. What's that man, the boxer, Mayweather? Baby, that's his money. And when he tells you to exit to the left to that door, you right back outside with your same social security number, your same negative bank account, and the clothes you walked in in on your back. Because he took all his shit back. Ain't going to donate it. So, I mean... Don't ever go with a person for money. Because it's their fucking money. It's not yours. Now, if y'all get king king, and he just, or she, whoever, open up that pathway for y'all to, whatever, then be smart and put something to the side. Because if, remember, you're still on his money. And if he say get out, you may get a little bit, but bitch, I'm telling you flat out, it is what it is. I don't, I don't ever want to get married. Oh, no, 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 no. Getting married? No, ma'am. I'm doing both. Well, I'm recording both because I could record like five different shows. <clears throat> so my shit is popping off like popcorn. So I'm just going to be going through whatever, you know, once this get off. And then I'm going to let everybody get their jish, and I'm going to get my jish, and we'll come back and get our jish again. 
if y'all are able. But I am going out tonight because. I worked my ass off this motherfucking weekend. I worked my motherfucking ass off, and I tell you, I worked my ass off this weekend. And to know tonight I am off, so that means I don't have to be in drag. I don't have to drive two hours down to do an hour show and then drive two hours back. Baby, when they told me I didn't have to work, I want to pull over that motherfucking car in that freeway and just start doing the Holy Ghost dance up and down that motherfucker because I just want to just scream. What? Oh, but no problem, J I, girl. I'm cool. Trust me. I'm cool than a motherfucker. Thank you, Jeff. All right. Thanksgiving. Eat up turkey. Gobble, gobble, gobble. I was happy. Oh, Lord. I'm going out tonight. And get my fucking jish. Okay, I want to see a <clears throat> Sasha Coley show. I'm such a fan of her. I'm going to the Abbey tonight. Oh, she there tonight? Okay. What time is she there? I could go up there and get my jish for her. And then I could go on over to the club where the boys at. Oh, well, they got Miss America on YouTube. I mean, on Facebook. So I can't watch it. I just won't be hearing it. But see, I don't like all the talking and what they've been going through. I want to just get to the pageant part. I'm sorry. Because they don't ask me all that shit in my damn pageant. Oh, baby, Sasha Kobe is beautiful. She's a wonderful entertainer. Let me tell you. That bitch is cool as a motherfucker. She pretty as a motherfucker. Talent out her motherfucking ass. Down to earth she is. And you would meet people like her that you would think she had this little woo. Nah, she cooler than a motherfucker. I love the dog shit out of Sasha. I mean, Sasha. I got her fucked up when she came over here, though. That bitch eyes were so motherfucking red. She was like, I gotta go home. I know, Jill. We finna get you an Uber right now, Jill. She's that right up the street. Uh, I've been in. Like, please, will you watch me in the work? I want to see your reaction. Well, I'm watching it now on Facebook. Oh. Oh, see, I'm watching it now on Facebook. What I was. Well, I'm watching it now. I didn't I didn't I wanted to hear it. You know what I mean? I don't need to hear it. Will you respond to my DM? Baby, I respond to everybody. At least I try to. And if you send me a picture, you know it disappear after a certain while, so I can't see it. Uh, as if you be on, <laughs> on the pre-show, they put them on the pre-show. <laughs> um, wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, they're making their money, so make your money, bitch. As long as y'all still out there doing your judge, I'm very happy for that. Okay, I'm watching the pageant. More music and, more and I'm watching Soul Train. Okay. I missed them. Were you respond? Yeah, I'll be okay. <clears throat> my Thanksgiving was really nice, babe. How was yours? I just finished the last of my Thanksgiving um, this morning at 5. Because <clears throat> I was out home with. But that's another story. Okay, yes, I work hard for the judge. No, SWV on pre-show. <laughs> no, ma'am. 
How was she acting on this? Who? She need her jizz. I know. I need to go see her. Yeah, I want to see your reaction. To what? I don't have no reaction to this stuff. Yes, I'm home for my tour. Getting ready for another one. You left me some. You left me on shine. Well, I messaged you. You call me. Okay, wait. Not the pre show, right? <laughs> Jeff, to come to New York. I will, babe. Sometimes when it's when the weather's cute. Oh, they not performing. Being oh, they been interviewed. Oh, I th I never paid attention to the pre show. I just thought maybe they had girls on there, you know, performing to some people because I just seen that seven girl go up there. What's my biggest life advice? Live your life. Because you only got one. Do I have any tips for acne? No. Toothpaste. Shit, that's what I do. I use that antibacterial dollar soap from the 99 system. And I wash my face twice a day or sometimes three. Depends on what's going on. I use bump stopper number two. So I won't get no bumps. But that's really for like underneath here. But, so you won't have that crunchy munch. So, but I just, you know, put it all over my face and noxema. Other than that, I don't know, baby. <clears throat> and I use some cheap-ass dollar fucking toothpaste. Anything white. Get the white cheap-ass toothpaste. You get a goddamn pimple or a zit. You throw that shit on there. Baby, that shit gonna start tingling. And you gonna feel it, a little tingling, trust me. It's drying that shit up. I don't know what it do, what what goes on. But for me and my skin flavor, it worked for me for years. I'll pop that shit on there. Pop, pop, pop. As a matter of fact, right here. See that little bump? That motherfucker was big. Oh, what the fuck? Baby, give me those two bangs. That shit was ready to squeeze out some shit, drain out, and dry the fuck up and get normal. Bitch, I can't have that. Yep, one right here and one right here. Right there. Wore that ass out. That little shit just... Thing and that crest, white crest shit. I'm like, yeah, gonna burn that shit up out of there. And it worked wonderful for me. <clears throat> but all that stuff you use for your facial. Makes me an enemy to work on me. You probably just lucky to have. Do you drink water? Oh, so wait, you have acne. Baby, go to the dermatologist. You got something that. You probably have to go see a specialist for her. Yeah, baby, you apply the wrong too. Yeah, Walgreens. That's cute. It's something else, though, they said was good for your skin. I don't know the name of it. But... This bitch had more pimples, baby. And she was using that shit. And she said it cost like 30 some dollars. And she used it and used it. And like, we just seen a change like in weeks. Like, damn. And I forgot what she said she was using. Hey, Jim. You know what? I didn't even know the girl had... I didn't even know what was on Tyra's shirt. I didn't pay attention or nothing. She had just said, hey, just let's take a picture. And I was like, okay, because we was doing callbacks. Oh, this thing going to cut off, but I'm going to come back. And then after everybody was...